Hello, magical people. Happy Sunday. Elwood's Blonde Witch here. Just doing a quick about me video and uh, I guess about me and my spiritual journey. Uh, as I said in one of my other videos, I've been working with crystals um, for a little over a year now. Uh, I'm trying to teach myself about uh, crystal healing, uh, meditation, and the chakras. Um, I am a follower of uh, the medium John Edward and uh, JohnEdward.net. I belong to his little group. Uh, if I ever had the money, I would love to take one of his um, psychic awareness courses, but they're crazy expensive. Uh, of course, also on my list is to take uh, Hibiscus Moon's Crystal Academy. Uh, I'm really excited. Which on the Rocks, I think you just registered, so I think that's awesome and cool, and I'm super excited for you on that. For me, um, I guess I've always been, um, I've always been like this. When I was a kid growing up, every year for Halloween, um, I was always a witch. Two years, um, I wasn't. One year I was Wednesday Adams because I had an Adams Family obsession, uh, that year. And the other year, um, I had won an award for my costume as the ghost bride of the Disney World Haunted Mansion, um, bride. Uh, if I get a chance, I'd love to, uh, maybe I'll look through some old photos, see if I could find, um, either of those photos, but I have to, um, check with my mom on where does she keep all the old albums and stuff from when we were kids, but, um, those, uh, costumes are pretty cool. The Wednesday Adams was a professional costume that I think my parents paid a shitload for, and the other one where I was the, the bride ghost, my... Mom went out and got me an actual wedding dress, and I had a dead. It was a, it was a dead rose. I don't even know where the hell my parents found this thing. It was a dead rose, but it was a dead black rose with a one of those like little flickering um, flameless candle things. So I actually won an award for that costume because it was pretty awesome, and it had all the uh, the white makeup on my face, and like I did all the fake blood and everything. It was it was cool. It was great. It was, it was pretty awesome. But every other year beyond that, um, I was always a witch. When I was a kid growing up, uh, around like 13 or 14, my favorite thing was I wanted to be um, Cher Horowitz with a witch's hat and be like one of the girls from, from the craft. That was like like my thing growing up. Um, you know, but I guess it's only, um, you know, recently that, you know, I've been, you know, working more with my intuition and working with crystals because I decided that, you know, I need to live my life for me and not live my life for other people because whether other people, um, you know, approve of um, me working, you know, with crystals or my intuition, you know what, it's not their life and if they have a problem with it, um, I say too bad, you know, because that's always, you know, been me. I've always been the intuitive person. I've always been a little um, different than other people. So I say you've got a problem. I say too bad, you know. I took me a lot of years, I guess, to be, to realize and be comfortable that, that I need to live my life how I want to live it and not live my life for other people and, you know, what they deem, um, appropriate. I mean, I'm still the girl that, um, loves pink with the Elwood's Woods obsession. Um, still have a dream of going to law school someday, but, um, that doesn't mean that I can't be on a spiritual journey um, until I get to that point and live my dream someday. All right, guys, um, said I would make this short, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm debating if I'm going to make a public Facebook, um, I guess for anyone that watches and anyone has any questions for me since I, some people leave me comments and I really appreciate the comments. I le I read everything and it really means a lot to me. I just, I'm new to YouTube. I don't really know how to work everything. Um, I'm normally on my phone all the time. I don't know how to really answer comments from my phone. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll make a public Facebook and put it up. So that way, if anyone wants to leave a comment or say anything, I can be able to respond through my Facebook mobile since I don't really know how to respond much through YouTube. But I do appreciate the comments. If anyone has any, any ideas of topics that I, you know, that I can do or, um you know, what, how I can make make the channel better or what I can do um, with the channel as far as topics that I can talk about. I really appreciate any of the, uh, the ideas. And, um, I, you know, I do appreciate all the new subscribers and the love and much thank you and love to Witch on the Rocks for um, 
throwing my channel out there and getting me all those new subs. I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot, and much love to you um, and your amazing uh, crystal store. Um, I know I mentioned one of my older videos um, from a week or so ago. I'm excited because I went to the store and found um, all the bowls that they use in a metaphysical shop to put all the crystals in. So I bought a whole bunch of those, so my room's going to look just like a whole big crystal store. And I'm super, super excited about that. So I'm going to try to get that up today. And um, I will put up a video when I'm done with it. I'm super excited. All right. Love you guys.